Hey guys, Lee's Fun Entertainment here, and welcome to part 13 of my Disney Blu ray and DVD collection. This time, we're going to be taking a look at live action movies and remakes, as you can see here. So, I put them in in order, so I'm going to show you the live action remakes first, then we'll get to the live action movies based on cartoons. Um, there's some other live action movies as well, as you can see here. Even though Peach Dragon was part of the Disney remakes, but I... But it, as I looked on the Wikipedia page, it wasn't listed in the Disney live action remake, so I just left it out to put in a different collection. And as you can see, you've got the rest there as well, and we've got some Muppet movies as well. So anyways, without further ado, let's get started. The first one, we're going to start off with the Disney live action remakes. Um, I'm going to do this order by order. So here we've got Maleficent, stars Angelina Jolie. This is a uh, direct remake to the... Uh, uh, original film called Sleeping Beauty. And it's got bonus features from fairy tale to feature film, building an epic battle, classic cou counters, Maleficent reveals Aurora becoming a beauty and deleted scenes. Ray PG, mild violence, threat, scary scenes, and this is 97 minutes. And we've got a disc, we've got a bluish, bluish disc, and then we've got the movie awards there. So yeah, Maleficent is, is a good movie. Um, I've seen this twice on Blu-ray. And yeah, it's still really good. Next, we've got Cinderella. Hang on a minute. Alice the Wonderland should be the one. Ah, oh, never mind. I was kind of thought, you know... It's like, no, I thought Alice the Wonderland should be shown first, then Maleficent, so... Uh, not to worry. Now we've got including a... Um, a Frozen Fever short, and we've got a fairy tale comes to life, costume test fun, stag, slagging the ball, stagging the ball, uh, alternative opening, Eliza's childhood, Eliza's furry friends, and then we've got Ray Yu, very mild scenes of emotional upset, 105 minutes. There we got this. And then you got the join, joiners in the Disney Magic. Yeah, uh, I've seen cinemas. Um, I gotta say it's good, but I haven't seen the um, the animated um, Cinderella, which I'll definitely watch that. Next, we've got the Jungle Book. I'm gonna show it on Blu-rays. Then I'm gonna get to the DVDs. So here is the. Here is the UK Blu-ray. It says, visual breathtaking, F four stars, MTV. This is an alright film. I did watch the animated um, uh, Jungle Book. I thought it was quite good. So, how should I rate it? The animated and the live action? I think the animated is quite good than the live action one, in my opinion. I, I, I thought it was good when I first saw it. Uh, a spectacular reimagine of a beloved classic. Four Stars Telegraph. Now, Jungle Book's not the only time that got remade. It, it was, there was also another Jungle Book remake in 1994, which is one of the first ever um, Disney live-action remake. There's another uh, Jungle Book sequel called Mowgli's Beginnings, which, by the way, I haven't got both of them on DVD, so hopefully I'll get that, or if those two movies were all on Disney+, Plus, that'll be really cool. And then we got The Jungle Book, Reimagine, I Mowgli, King Louis Temple, Layer by Layer, and Play a Movie with Audio Commentary by the director John Favreau, which there's a guy who later on directed a Lion King remake, which I'll show that in just a sec. PG Mile Fret and 106 Minutes. And we got a boring bluish disc. And here is the Spanish version. Same thing as before. And then we got some like ad for like. What's this about? Is that about books? Maybe it's books. So there you go. That's the Jungle Book remake. Then we got to Christopher Walk. No, Christopher Walking. What am I saying? Oh. 
Who hey, when I did that? Christopher Robin starring Ewan McGregor. Uh, Old Friends, New Adventures. This is featuring uh, like a Winnie the Pooh um, characters there. Inter Entirely Enchanted Metro. We got in which a movie in is made for Pooh, in which Pooh finds his voice, in which Pooh and, and Walt become friends, in which Pooh and friends come to life. 104 minutes, rate, rate PG, mild threat, brief, brief war violence. Yeah, it's a good movie. Seen as in cinemas back in 2018. And now we get to Aladdin, stars uh, Will Smith. A lot of people seem to get picky with this live, live, uh, Disney live action room, remakes. They, because a lot of people who grew up with the original said that it, the live action remake is just terrible than the origin, original. Next, we got Aladdin, stars Will Smith as the genie. This is a remake to the original Aladdin. Full of excite, full of fun and excitement. The mirror. There we got Aladdin's video journal. A fantastic new fantastic point of view. Deleted song. Desert moon. Guy Ritchie's a uh, cinem cinematic genie. A friend like genie. Deleted scenes. Music video and bloopers. One hundred and twenty seven minutes. Well, that's long. Uh, my great PG mild fantasy threat. This is where a lot of people were very kind of picky about Disney live action remakes because they think. Those ones are destroyed in the original classics. But I know a lot of people say they didn't like this film, but I thought it was I thought it was good. So I got a question. Who is the best genie? It's Will Smith or Robin Williams? Let me know in the comments below what you what you guys think. I think you will in my opinion, I think you will be Um Will Smith, probably, but don't get me wrong, I like Robin Williams as the genie, that's for sure. And then we also got um, a, a Lion King 2019 remake. Because I already showed that in my Christmas presents um, video. A roaring success. The Telegraph. Then we got Play the Movie with the director John Farrow intro. Play the Movie with audio commentary. Sing along with the movie um, song section. The journey to the Lion King mu the music. The magic. The timeless tale. More to be seen. Music video and protect the pride. 118 minutes. This is Ray PG Mob Threat Violence. Here we got this. Gonna go add for Lion King. Lion King Live on Tour, which I did see. It was really good. Now I, I do also have a program and book there. Some other Disney Live stage shows. So yeah. In my last video, I said it was good, but I changed my mind. I, I, will, I will still stick to the original better than this one, so... Yeah, you can say your comments about all the Disney remakes all you want. So yeah, I don't mind. Next, we've got Maleficent, Mysteries of Evil. Sounds, sounds like Angelina Jolie again. Never looks... Ne evil never looks so good. Angelina Jolie is a catap... Kept having thing. Oh, I don't know how to pronounce it. Really hard to pronounce all these words. The mirror. This has got Origins of the Fray, Aurora's Wedding, If You Had Wings, Maleficent, Mysteries of Evil, Frex Wheel, Deleted Scenes, Outtakes, You Can Stop the Girl, performed by Bay Rexa, Ray BG, Mild Fantasy, Frets, Mild Violent, Scary Scenes, and this is about 180 minutes. This is a really good movie. I think this is way more better than the uh, first movie, in my opinion. So, this is such a good movie if you haven't seen it. Now, let's get to the DVDs. So, here we got Alice in Wonderland, stars Johnny Depp. Fantastic fun for the whole family. And we've got bonus features The Mad Hatter and Finding Alice Infecting Wonderland. Ray Peachy contains moderate fantasy violence, and this is 104 minutes. Then we got a disc, we're gonna be boring grayish discs. And then we got an ad for the um, Disney Movie Awards. 
And then we also got the uh, Never Leave Blood. I think I already showed you it. We've got add on up on Blu ray. So there you go, that's Alice in Wonderland. And then we got next is got a sequel Alice Through the Looking Glass. Starts the same cast from the, um, the first movie. Yeah, no critique reviewing this, and no Bonds features, interestingly enough. This is Ray PG, Mal Fret, Mal Bat Language, and this is Bonds in 8 minutes. I haven't seen this film, so I'll definitely give it a watch. As well as the one land, I did watch it, and it was quite good. I mean, I like the anime one, because I did recently watch that, which is quite good. And next, we go to Beauty and the Beast. We got, this is a two movie collection. We got the live action and the animated version. I've seen the live action Beauty and the Beast, but I haven't seen the animated one, which I'll definitely get around to watching it. And also, this is a DVD I forgot to show you in my Disney Classics collection, because this is part of the Disney Classics collection. And then we got the three versions of the film, music and more, classic DVD bonus features, free Features few film with commentary by directors Kirk Wise and Gary Truesdale, producer Don Harm and composer Alan Macon. And by the way, this is the last film that Alan Macon was actually composed the music before he sadly... No, sorry, not Alan Macon. Um, Howard Ashman. Howard Ashman did the um, songs in this film before he sadly passed away. According to Animat's video... Um, this, this movie dedicated to him, and it said, To our friend Howard, who gave a mermaid her voice, and a beast his soul, we will be forever for grateful. So yeah. Again, rest in peace, Howard Ashman. And we got this, got um, Bell on it. And then we also got a live action remake. Stars Emma Watson as Belle. And the perfect family film, The Sun. Even a lot of people despise this film. I thought it was okay. No, I think it was good. I, I meant as I mentioned. Um, but I'm, I might have a rewatch of this film. Yeah, I need to watch the anime one first. Then I need to rewatch this. One hundred and twenty-four minutes. Where PG Marvel violence and threat. I'm not sure I read. The, I forgot to read you the um, running time on this. 91 minutes, a Ray you contains Inferent Mall Threat. So there we go. I'll put this back at the end of the video. And I'll not, not forget to mention, I already have another copy of it. Well, I got this from Super Dragon Froom. And then not, not long after, I think I got the animated and the live action Beauty and the Beast, which I think I got from one of my family members. I couldn't quite remember now. And next we've got Dombo. This is a Tim Burton movie. It's the director. Now, compared to the original film, it was a quite... It was a 60-minute movie, but this one's even longer than the original film. This is about 170... 17 minutes. 107 minutes. Pure Magic. Alan Jones, Radio Times. White Mouth Fret Free Filings. It's very PG. And no bonus features whatsoever. I mean, I could have actually got it on Blu-ray, but at the time, I didn't actually got it on Blu-ray. Because like with The Missing Link, um, I only got those on DVD. So, yeah, I got it from Saints Breeze back in 2019. And it's really a shame I didn't actually find the Blu-ray of this. So, oh well. Join me for part 14. We're going to be continuing on with the rest with the... Um, Live action movies based on cartoons and we'll get to the rest of the live action movies so stay tuned for that.